Praise Covenant Sunday School friends. It's me, Miss Heidi, back again to share with you in, uh, another Bible story that we hope will be meaningful to you as you continue to grow closer to God. Today's story is um, from Genesis again. It is about Jacob um, and his brother Esau um, and then also about a dream that Jacob has. Um, and also being sent out to you is a coloring page of Jacob and Esau. Jacob is, whoops, this guy over here. He is uh, often described as very hairy, so you can kind of see those lines on there. And there's his brother Esau. And you'll see in the pictures in the story I'm about to share that Esau has red hair, just like my son Ben. So this is from Genesis 25, 27 to 34 and Genesis 27, 1 to 45. Jacob tricks his family. Esau and Jacob were twin brothers. Esau was born a few minutes before Jacob. That meant that Esau was the oldest son and that someday he would be the head of the family. One day while Esau was hunting, Jacob made some soup. When Esau came home, he was very hungry. Give me some soup right away, he said. Jacob answered, I'll give you some soup if you give me your place in the family. Esau didn't think about how special his place in the family was. So he said, you may have my place. Many years went by. Isaac grew old. Isaac was Jacob and Esau's father. I will bless you, Esau, said Isaac. But first, bring me some deer meat to eat. Jacob wanted to be blessed. So while Esau went hunting, Jacob and his mother planned a trick. Jacob's mother cooked some goat meat just the way Isaac liked it. Then she tied the goat skins around Jacob's arms and neck. Your father is blind. When he touches you and feels the goat hair, he will think you are Esau because Esau has more hair than you. Hurry, go to your father before Esau gets home. So Jacob went to his father's tent. He leaned close to Isaac and said, I am Esau and I have brought you the meat you asked for. Won't you bless me now? Isaac felt Jacob's arms. He thought it was his hairy son Esau. So Isaac blessed Jacob. Isaac prayed, may God give you many things. May everyone do what you say. You will be the head of the family. Esau was very angry when he found out what Jacob had done. Jacob had to leave home for a long time. Oh, hi, Evie. Evie was listening to that story with me, too. Come here. Now, I did notice that I actually messed up the names in the beginning. Maybe you noticed that, too. I didn't do it on purpose, but even grown-ups make mistakes sometimes. And that's okay. Hopefully you caught on to who was who in that story. We're going to read one more story together, and this one is about Jacob's dream. This is from Genesis 28, 10 to 22. Jacob was running away from home. His brother Esau was very angry and wanted to kill him. It was almost night, so Jacob stopped to rest. There was no soft bed for him to sleep on, just the hard ground and a rock for his pillow. Jacob was too tired to care, and soon he fell asleep. He dreamed that he saw a ladder that reached all the way to heaven. Angels were going up and down the ladder. At the top stood the Lord God. Ben thinks that this story is the reason that the song Stairway to Heaven was written. I'm not sure about that. God said, I am the God of your father and grandfather. I will give you and your children the land you are sleeping on if you will make me your God too. I will promise to take care of you. When Jacob woke up, he poured oil on the stone he used as a pillow. Then he told God, if you will take care of me and bring me safely back to my father's house someday, you will be my God wherever I go. And that's the end of today's story. I hope you will have fun coloring in the picture and maybe you can figure out which one is Jacob and which one is Esau.